Hello, one and all. I'm Joe Viola, Marketing Specialist at Verity IT. Today's webinar will be covering the threat email landscape in today's society and how to best mitigate these threats to protect your business. Organizations around the world rely on email collaboration every single day. However, email communications are not always secure. Attackers can spoof domains, distribute malware, and spam email channels. They also use social engineering to trick users into login to fake accounts. Today, we are joined by Ramey Bailey Price to discuss the impact of email threats further. Ramey has been with Trend Micro for over four years and specializes in cybersecurity. Thanks for joining us, Ramey. Thanks for having me. Um, hi, everyone. As mentioned, my name's Ramey. I'm with Trend Micro. Um, I actually just had my uh, five year work anniversary, which was super exciting. But yeah, it's five years now, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what we're diving into today. Um, okay, there we go. So let's take a look at what we're going over. So business email compromise, uh, when a threat actor takes over your organization's email, um, unknown malware and how to mitigate uh, those situations and different strategies you can use, and what advanced solutions will protect you against these types of attacks. So email as a whole, there was actually a study done by Verizon back in 2019, um, and we actually found that 94% of email um, is how malware gets through to an organization, uh, which is very disheartening to think about, but there's a ton of precautions that you can do to mitigate those risks. So many organizations are using Microsoft Office 365 for email, um, and Office 365 does have anti-malware protection. However, it only is designed to catch all known malware, um, and this is actually shown in the service description um, of their, uh, I believe it's the E3 security. Um, the only thing is, most people don't know this, but 95% of malware is actually unknown. So that means Office 365 basic security is only protecting you against 5% of malware coming through your email. Um, I like to compare this to a smoke detector. Um, like if a smoke detector guaranteed to detect 5% of fires happening in your home, like would that be good enough? Probably not. Um, but yeah, email is the number one source of attacks as discussed, but a majority of cyber uh, security threats come through like phishing, spam emails. Um, so every customer needs to have a good strategy uh, to deal with unknown malware. So Trend Micro has a, a product called Cloud App Security, um, and in 2019, we actually caught over 12 million high-risk high email threats, um, including like phishing, business email compromise, and malware. Uh, these threats were those missed by Office 365 security, um, so our ad security laid, layer was able to detect and block those threats for our customers. Excuse me. So a business email compromise attack is any phishing attack uh, like where a target believes they've received an email from a genuine business. Um, and so Verizon's 2020 data breach investigation report actually found that most BEC attacks now involve wire transfer fraud, um, where that's where the attacker like pers uh, persuades the target to transfer money to their account. So due to the popularity of cloud services, especially Office 365, uh, business email compromise attacks have been focused on these platforms. And so the FBI actually issued a warning back in March saying that they received complaints totaling in over uh, $2.1 billion in actual losses from BEC scams. And so these are targeting like uh, Microsoft Office 365, Google Workspace, uh, and file sharing applications. And they're doing that a couple different ways. So they have email and, um, impersonation, and that's going to be where the attacker actually sets up an email account that looks like the business email account. 
And then there's email spoofing. And this is going to be where the attacker modifies an email envelope and header. And so the receiving mail server is going to think uh, the email came from the corporate domain and the recipient's email uh, client is actually going to display the incorrect sender information. So credential phishing can look very uh, convincing, um, but there are some key things that you can look out for. Uh, for credential phishing, we use like a, what we call computer vision, um, and it's looking at the web page's logo, login form, and to compare those to the URL. Uh, for example, <clears throat> This page, it looks like it's from Microsoft, but the URL is from uh, but the URL is from like another fake page. Um, so this is an example of how like Trend can use AI, um, and it and it will actually let you know if the URL is safe or unrated, so the web reputation won't like detect like the credential phishing uh, within the site. So email account takeover attacks. So um, you can actually access like Microsoft applications and sensitive data like OneDrive, SharePoint, and Excel. Um, and they'll access this like without the proper protection. And it's only going to take one. Cybersecurity threats have become sneakier, more complex, and it's only gonna take one employee to click on a fishy email to make your entire company at risk. <clears throat> So there was actually a study by um, Accenture showing that there has been a 67% increase in cyber breaches just in the past five years. And what can you do to prevent it? So with trend protection, like that's going to assist you in blocking uh, ransomware before it ever gets to your users. It's going to help you detect and block ransomware with malware scanning, uh, anti-spam, and file scanning. And it's also going to uh, give you advanced threat protection with like cloud sandboxing, uh, malware analysis, zero day, and document exploit detection. So even though the bad guys are swiftly changing their tactics, there are ways to prevent and mitigate such attacks. Um, some of the security solutions out there today are specifically designed to like outsmart these types of attacks, such as machine learning. Uh, this is going to improve uh, email delivery by finding unknown malware. Then there's uh, document exploit detection. Uh, this is going to scan files for potential exploits in office applications and sandbox analysis. Um, and this actually pre-filters your email to analyze any malicious content. So Trend Micro actually has a offering called Cloud App Security. <clears throat> Excuse me, um, Cloud App Security, and it actually protects Office 365 and cloud-based file sharing applications. Um, and since email is the number one source of attacks, this is going to help you like stop email-based threats like phishing, ransomware, um, and it's going to be 100% in the cloud. Um, and it's a proven email in Microsoft, like Office 365 protection, and it's going to help like uncover uh, those unwanted unknown threats. We also use AI or machine learning uh, for the latest threats, such as like BC and credential phishing. Uh, for business email compromise protection, we first do email behavior scanning, such as abnor email routing abnormal email routing, um, weird behavior, or sender name is like very similar to the company's high profile user. We also check the email content to see if there's any um, like suspicious intention such as financial impact. Um, all other security vendors would stop here uh, for BEC detection, but we actually have a second layer um, and it's called writing style authorship analysis. Um, a writing style AI model is being built for each high profile user. And when an email comes in saying it's from that said user, the AI model um, actually checks to see if it's indeed from that user. And Trend Micro actually has a patent on this technology. And I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth on it because it's actually really cool. Um, 
So if you think about how we send emails on a day-to-day -day basis, some of us write really long sentences with a variety of like words using and using like different like punctuation, while others are more direct in short words and small paragraphs. If you look at the email from these three Enron executives, this is based on a 500,000 email data set, and they re released it publicly, and it's from, I think it's Federal Energy Regulation Commission's investigation. That's the investigation that it's from. But uh, we can see the key differences on how uh, these employees write. So looking at the emails from Jeffrey Skilling, uh, Sally Beck, and David Delaney, uh, we can compare writing style elements such as sentence length, word length, repeated words, uh, paragraph length, pronoun usage, and adjective usage. So scaling is very direct style with short words, um, short paragraphs, very to the point. Beck, on the other hand, is wordy style with long paragraphs, long sentences, and repeats word sequences. Um, and the last is a very descriptive style with high number of adjectives. Um, so with this, it makes it really hard for someone to impersonate um, th these said individuals just for the mere fact that we have their writing style DNA, uh, meaning they're not only going to have to go through all the hoops of getting their email, spoofing someone, but they're also going to have to like sound exactly like them. Um, so it's just another form of uh, security that we've laid on top. Aside from that, at the end of the day, your employees are your biggest vulnerability. Um, and so the security awareness training, you you can't live without it. Um, we have something we call, we call Fish Insight. It's a free offering. Um, it's a phishing simulation tool um, that you're free to use. Um, and it's really important because the landscape is co um, constantly evolving with new threats. And we really got to set up training campaigns to educate employees on the latest cyber threats to make sure they're not just clicking on stuff willy nilly um, and actually like learning from these like training simulations. So you don't have to deal with like an actual attack. So Fish Insight is really cool. Uh, we work with our email reputation services team um, and we have the latest templates um, from the most recent like actual phishing attacks. They're completely customizable uh, and you can run them like one off or you can set up like, it's like a drip campaign where it'll send like once a week or once a month. Um, I have quite a few partners and customers that use this as a gamification tool. Whereas let's say Sally doesn't click on something for an entire quarter. Um, so she gets a uh, Starbucks gift card or something like that. Um, and you can actually track the results as they happen. So uh, live dashboards, um, and you can easily identify teams or individuals that are your problem children. And we also include like training information for those said users as well. All the data can be exported um, so if you need to do it, like do some analysis outside of the product, that's completely doable as well. But yeah, you can um, access this by going to trendmicro.com um, um, and it's called Fish Insight. Um, and then if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to Verity um, and they'll uh, loop in your said like Trend Micro counterpart. Thank you so much for that, Ramey. Uh, we'd like to thank everyone for joining us today. We did get a few questions that rolled in during Ramey's presentation. So, oh, awesome. all right, here's the first one. Uh, what should you do if you suspect your email account has been compromised? Yeah, so if you suspect your email has been compromised, first things first, always contact like IT. Like for instance, Trend Micro, we have like a Trend Micro like 911 portal. And so if Verity is doing your IT, I would contact them and open up a case because we have internal engineers here at Trend Micro who can actually troubleshoot that to make sure nothing's happening. Uh, and then anytime you think you've been compromised whatsoever, like change all of your passwords, that should be the first thing you do. Um, but then contact IT because they'll be able to go ahead and get that mitigated. Awesome. And, uh, and our second question is, if you send a hacker money, is there any way to get it back? So 
I don't think so. I mean, we have uh, now in our industry, it's growing, like the popularity is growing immensely, uh, cyber insurance. Um, so in the event of something like that happening, um, they would cover up to a certain amount. Um, but as far as getting your money back, I mean, it's hard to say, especially like with ransomware. Um, we have your information, give us X amount, we'll give your money back. How often people actually get their money back um, is like less than 50%. So um, I, I don't think your odds are high at getting refunded or, or giving your money back. All right. Well, uh, thank you for that, Ramey. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have today. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for joining us. As thought leaders in the IT industry, we host monthly webinars throughout the year surrounding cybersecurity. We will reach out with an invite and a list of our other upcoming webinars as well. Again, thank you so much for joining and I hope everyone has a productive day.